Alright, let's start with something simple first. First, let's start with a blanket or kumot. For people who want to improve their audio and their videos or if you do voiceover, you might want to do it under a blanket or kumot. Alright, let me just grab a blanket then let's try recording under a blanket. Ding! Alright, let's try this one. This is how I sound outside a blanket. This is how I sound inside a blanket. Uh, let's try again. This is how I sound outside a blanket. This is how I sound inside a blanket. So ito yung mic ko. Let's try it uh, while saying my thing inside a blanket. This is my voice inside a blanket. This is my voice outside a blanket. This is my voice inside a blanket. I'm not really sure kung ano talaga yung difference doon but based on the theory, the idea that they said behind it is that pagka nagre-record ka under a blanket, yung voice mo will be less echoey kasi inabsorb ng blanket yung mga echoes ng voice mo and another is mas full yung voice mo daw under dun sa blanket. So ayun, I'm just not really sure yet kung ganun talaga. So let's just see later in post. Another tip when I'm just currently editing it and it turns out uh, pag nagre-record ka talaga ng audio mo under a blanket, it really improves your audio. Another tip when recording a video is to turn up yung mga appliances nyo that generates noise like yung electric fan like this, yung TV behind this, and yung aircon. And see the difference pagka ano, wala nang ibang uh, appliances that generates noise. See how clean yung sound mo. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is Windows, not the application, not the software, but Windows as in Bintana. This is very basic kasi you want as much light as possible when you're recording your YouTube video or a vlog. So gusto mo malapit ka sa source of light mo which is yung window. And wala namang gustong manood ng video na hindi mo nakikita yung pinapanood mo, di ba? So I guess that's just a basic idea behind why you want to record yung videos mo, yung YouTube videos mo, yung vlogs mo near a window. So this time, let me show you a comparison of videos. So dito, na, dito sa screen na to, this is my phone. And for this one, this is yung bigger camera ko. And see, pagka maganda yung lighting mo, even though na this is for a lower quality, yung video ng phone ko, it's still... Pwede na, alam mo yun, it is comparable to the bigger camera. I just have to pause the video kasi I'm currently editing it and nung tinignan ko siya, ang layo talaga. Uh, kahit gano'n no, kaganda pala talaga yung lighting mo kung sobrang pangit nung camera ng phone mo, wala eh, wala talaga. Okay, my next tip to improve your YouTube videos is to add a sprinkle of your personality dun sa videos mo. So for this example, let us look at my older videos. All you could see is just my face in a very dark background. It's kinda boring to be honest. So what you can do is frame your shot a bit better by including things that define you. For example, this cameras. <clears throat> so itong mga camera to, naka-display to dun, but originally nakatambak lang to dito sa bahay namin. And to add parang flavor dun sa video ko, to add my personality uh, dun sa mga videos ko, I put it in, in the frame para kasama siya. So, I put it here. <coughs> Tapos yung drones ko. So, ayun ah. Uh, by putting yung mga things na nagde-define sa akin, things that I'm interested in, it adds personality to my videos. Next tip that I wanted to share is just basically cleanliness. So, maintain yung frame mo na malinis, walang mga other things na nagde-destruct sa mga audience mo. So, what I suggest is keep your background clean, keep yung frame mo clean, and yung focus ng audience mo is on you. So, I guess, if, yung, if clean yung frame mo, clean yung background mo, clean yung video mo, para yung audience mo can focus on you. This is just 
just a short video so this is the last clip na I could share. It's about creativity. So let me just show you yung inad ko dun sa background ko which I think includes yung creativity part ko. So basically what I just did is I just add light. So as you can see dito sa background ko, this is just LED strips. Then dun naman, that's an empty mayonnaise jar na nilagyan ko lang ng fairy light sa loob. Then dun, it's just light. So, alam mo yun, yung parang just place things that you could mesh up na pag pinagsama-sama mo could make your video, your background, your frame a little bit more interesting than the usual. All these things are very basic so malamang yung karamihan dito, alam niyo na. But, I hope it still adds value to you. So, parang reminder na lang siguro sa inyo. Uh, if you have idea, just the same as this or related it sa video na to, kindly share it in the comment section down below. And if you appreciate this video, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, I also have a podcast linked down below. And ayun, uh, see you in the next video. Last tip is to look at the lens of your camera and not the screen.